Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How are you doing? Um, I want to thank you guys for the uh, for the kind words regarding the uh, deep cranking video. So a lot of guys asked about square bill fishing. So <clears throat> it's snowing out here on a Sunday afternoon before football starts. So I thought, eh, why not uh, pull out the 5,000 square bill crankbaits I have and kind of show you how I like to fish them. Um, just to start off, the rods that I showed you in the deep cranking video is kind of the rod, the same rods I use. I mean, I showed you guys um, these three, that Arden crankbait rod, that's a 7.6 medium, the Enigma glass rod, which I forget what the details on that were, if I can tell you. That's a 7.4 medium heavy. And then my, you know, old Wright McGill Rick Clun S glass rods, that's a 7.8 and that's also a medium. So I do prefer a medium rod for cranking. And I also have, let me get these out of the way. <clears throat> and as I said last time, some of you guys may have these old uh, Wright McGill, Rick Clun cranking rods. He, he came out with this series a while ago. And I think, you know, I think they were oh, pretty nice. They were a little heavy, um, but I do like them. And these are both, they're square barrel rods, which I, I really like. And these are both glass rods. This is the Rick Clun, um, model that's six eight heavy so it's this is a heavy rod i tend to use that other th this one more because as i said the other one's kind of heavy this one is um a seven foot medium heavy and they're both this is a clear water square bill rod and i forget what the other one is classified as now these they don't make these anymore some of you old school guys may have them if you bought them back in the day a lot of guys thought they just the color of them was kind of ugly, so I guess. Um, and this is just the square bill one. The other one's a clear water square bill. But I like them. I think they're nice glass rods, and I still throw them. Um, I've kind of moved to that Enigma glass rod the last few years, but if I know I'm going to throw a lot of square bills, I'll throw one of the you know one of my reels on one of those Wright McGill Rick Clun square bill rods and, and throw it around. I like them. They're fine. If you have a glass rod you like or a graphite rod you like, um, medium to medium heavy, I prefer a medium. But either is fine, whatever you like. It all depends on the cover, too, that you're going to be fishing, which is kind of what we're going to talk about with square bill fishing. As I said in the other video, most of the time, if I'm fishing kind of just flats, open water, weeds, um, things like that, you know, even shallow rock, I'm, I throw, you know, 10-pound fluoro, you know, even when I'm square bill fishing. If I know I'm going to fish some real heavy, like wood, I may go up to like 14 or 16 fluoro, you know, you know, with a, put that on a reel or use a reel with some heavier line for that. If I know I'm going to be bouncing it off a lot of um, wood and, and lay downs and things like that, because that's really what it, where a square bill, in my opinion, really shines when you're banging it got into rocks, banging it into wood, things like that, because the square bill will really deflect well off that. You don't tend to get hung up as much as you would if you were throwing a deep diver. Um, you know, the same reels. I showed you guys the Ardent, the Ardent Apex Elite that I like, that Enigma Valkyria that I like. I like these loose speed spools that I bought last year. Whatever, I have some Abel Garcias that I like, you know, Shimano's, anything, whatever reel you like, low profile reel, 6.3 to 1 is kind of where I go, 6.5 to 1 I think is that one Ardent. Whatever, I don't usually use a high speed reel for cranking. Uh, I try not to. Um... Now, as far as the baits go, <laughs> much like the deep diving cranks, I, I pulled out all the square bills that I have, and I think I've got about 10 boxes here. So um, I'll go through them and kind of show you the, the ones I like to use. I don't have these in any particular order. Um, I'll just go with the boxes that I have. I didn't take any out. There's none on the table right now, which is actually good for me. But I'll kind of show you the boxes before I open them. This is one of those deep plano boxes. And this is all, <clears throat> now this is not just square bills. This is some, some other ones too. But this is the square bills that I have from Live Target. I don't know if Live Target still makes all these square bills. Uh, Live Target a few years ago was bought by Mustad. I'm not sure what exactly they still have. Um, but this is kind of like their version of a 2.5. This might actually even be kind of bigger than a 2.5. This is that bait ball series from Live Target, which I always liked. It's a nice square bill with cool colors. So that actually looks bigger than a 2.5 to me. 
But for you guys who have never seen a square bill crankbait before, there you go. You know, it's your crankbait body and the bill is a square bill. This will only dive so far. You're not fishing real deep water with a square bill. If I get them deeper than six feet, maybe at the best, um, maybe eight, but usually you're in that four, five, six range. And what's nice about this square bill is this will really deflect. When this is coming across wood, it's not gonna dig into it like that deep diver will. This kind of bangs off it. And that's what really gets you those bites when you're hitting something or you're just covering shallow water. But you can see this has got there's some cool <clears throat> colors. <clears throat> if they still make them, you may be able to find them, you know, on, if they're not making any more on closeout. That's their bigger size. This is the smaller. This this to me looks more like a 2.5 size. It's almost like a, <laughs> you want to call it a 3.5. You can see the difference in the size there. How much bigger that one on the right is. But this is more of their, and this is a bait ball series too. Same kind of colors. But a nice square bill. Really like them, caught fish with them. And this is all just a live target box here. The other version they had, they had these crawfish patterns, which were really cool. You guys can kind of see how the, so you can imagine this going through the water and that, you know, it's like a craw, crawfish scooting back. I always like these crawfish ones that live target made. Just a few of those. And then they had their, you know, their bait ball series. This is more of a finesse, finesse or a smaller. You can see how it's their bait ball series, all little baits. I always liked these. I really wish they still pushed this line because I liked it. I mean, I thought these, you know, this is more kind of <clears throat> like your 1.5 in that bait ball series. This is, this is what they cons consider their 60. These are like, I think they're yearling series, they call this. But I, I mean, that that's a great looking color. I did very well with these, especially this guy right here. I mean, I could do a video just on live target stuff, but <laughs> they don't make a lot of it anymore. It's kind of, kind of stinks if you see a video on baits you like and then you can't buy them. But that color was always great. And then they had the regular, you know, that was like their yearling series and they had the regular bait ball series. And these were like nice finesse. And I, yeah, these were great. I think these, the live target ones, do better in clear water just because of their visual um, <clears throat> aspect of the bait. Get that off. But, you know, it's really neat. <clears throat> and sometimes when I throw these smaller, like 1.5s, I'll throw them on a uh, on a spinning rod. But I'll we'll talk about that as we go on. So that's just one box. <laughs> that's a live target square bait. <clears throat> This is a box that's kind of a mix and match, but I did take it out because it does have, I wanted to show you the, uh, if we can get them apart. This is the Riot Baits, which I know you can still get. This is their version of a square bill. It's a nice bait, nice colors. I had a few of them. They're all stuck together, but nice hooks. So here's a few of the Riot Baits version of the square bill. Ouch. Hooks are sharp. <laughs> cool eyeballs on there. This is some more, actually, some... You know what? I'm going to just show you them all together. This is the some of the older live target crawfish square bill type baits. If you guys can kind of see, instead of trying to take them all apart, these are all live targets. <laughs> kind of neat, huh? How it looks like that. <laughs> it's like a necklace. And then the rest of these are more just crankbaits. Not necessarily square bills. Uh, one of the square bills that I like to use a lot, and I guess when KBD won the won the classic the one year, throw in the Straight King square bill, the 2.5, um, it became very popular. It's not expensive. You can throw them right out of the, you know, you just open the pack and throw them and catch fish. I always did very well with the KVD 1.5 and 2.5. This is the 2.5 model. And as you can see, they have a lot of different colors. So that's all 2.5s. You do a video just on, KV, on uh, Strike King KVD 2.5s. But some of the ones that I like a lot is this, uh, <clears throat> this chartreuse with the black back. 
Oh, it catches fish everywhere. It's just a great color, especially in dirty water. That's a great color. Uh, some of these like bluegill patterns they had. Try to see here what else we got that I can get out, actually get out of here. Like that sexy shad. I always did well with that one. Some perch type colors, which are always good anywhere you go. Especially you guys fishing here in the Northeast. You know if your lake has perch, a perch colored bait. And I always thought this one was, I always thought this guy was cool. It's like black, I don't know what they call this, that chartreuse on the belly, but that black with that blue head. There's that perch one again. It's like a, I forget that's a bream or if it's, a, or what they call that one, but those, those are good. They're really nice. So. Uh, an inexpensive, I mean, I don't know, I haven't bought a, a KVD 1.5 or 2.5 in a while. I don't know what they go for now, but they're not overly expensive. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of those. Uh, and just to follow that up, here's the 1.5, which is very effective, very effective. Sometimes if that 2.5 might be too big of, for them, you switch to that 1.5 and you start catching fish. It's like this... Uh, crawfish color they had in the 1.5 so this is the strike king 1.5 and i can usually get away with oops i'm gonna get a hook in my finger there i can usually get away with the 1.5 on my on my casting rod sometimes i'll put it on spinning most of the times i'll just throw it on a casting you know with 10 pound line you can throw these pretty far far enough but the 1.5 is a nice option a nice option if they don't want that big 2.5 or 3.5 which you'll see but that's the straight king 1.5 square bill very very effective um in this box here I, if i show it to you like this you really can't see much i guess you kind of this is from pete stoneman and sun lures all custom painted this is kind of the traps and the square bills that pete has made for me over the years you guys saw my video from last summer. Pete painted this and sent it to me, and I took it out and caught a nice bass on it. Nice, like that, that brown, that little orange there. I always do well with this. I always wanted, I asked them to make me this pink and white one just for, for dirty, water, dirty water fishing. I always do well with a pink crankbait like that. Uh, let's see. Just some great different you know, custom painted patterns, you know, that Pete has made for me over the years, and they're all really good, all really good. Crayfish patterns, perch patterns, very natural. All good, all good stuff. And even has some of the, this is kind of a body that mimics the S-crank from Mega Bass. Pete has a couple of those he painted for me. Got a couple of them, really cool paint jobs. So, I'll put the description in there. You can contact Pete through Instagram, through his uh, website, all custom painted. So, you, you've got a 2.5 color that you really want, he can do it for you. Uh, these are a little different, <laughs> if you guys can see the size of these. These are oversized square bills, which are actually pretty cool <laughs> to throw. Um, this is like that first live target I was showing you. I just got a couple in there. Probably couldn't fit in that other box. So I have them in this one. But this is the Strike King, and I don't recall off the top of my head if I can get it out of here. I don't know if they call this the 3.5, if they actually... But you can see that <laughs> the size of that square bill... Get that back in there. I'll be redoing this later. That's a big square bill. That's a Strike King. Now, let me just show you. Here's your 2.5. <laughs> and then there's that guy. I don't remember off the top of my head if they call it a 3.5. I'm just saying that. I, but it's their big square bill. So if you're interested in throwing it and you just look up the big, you know, the big square bill. But that is a big bait. And I'll tell you, these are fun to throw on flats and around rock and stuff. 
and you can get some it, it's almost like top water fishing sometimes they really will crush it but that's the strike king version of that big um in there is falling out. Here's a couple more of the Strike Kings in some different colors. If you want to throw that big, big square bill, and here is the, which is absolutely beautiful, this is the six cents version of that big square bill. You can see that square, the square bill crankbait, but these colors are just awesome, as all six cents baits, uh, crankbaits are. Big hooks, big triple grips, so if you're interested in a big square bill, I'm, I'll call it a 3.5 just to, and I don't know, I forget what they call, what Strike King calls theirs or what Six Cents calls theirs, but I'll put a link to it in the description. You guys can check them out. But these are really cool, really cool. They'll give you a workout throwing them, but they're not diving real deep either. But if you wanna, you know, search for that big fish around those shallows. Swim this around. <laughs> Swim that around. There's one more. One more of the that big one. Pretty cool color. I haven't looked lately to see what what so, what uh, other colors of those they have. But that's the big square bills right there. Oh what do we got in here? Oh here's the uh, here's the mega bass box. So that's got some of the S cranks in there, which is a really nice square bill some different sizes gotta have that 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 black and chartreuse and this i think is the is the 1.5 so this is the mega bass mega bass version of the square bill this is the s crank and this is the 1.5 great bait love it there's another one that that gill color which i think is just awesome in all their baits I think these are, let me see, these are 1.5s. Let me just make them double check, looking at the size of these. So these are all Mega Bass 1.5s. Got two of that color. I think that's the same color. Got two of those for some reason. So that's the 1.5 BS crank. I think these are all 1.5s, yeah. So here's just a couple other colors in that, that, that S crank from Mega Bass. You know, Mega Bass has, you know, high quality baits, great colors. It's like a pro blue type. And here is the S crank if you want the bigger one. I think they call this the 2.0. Yeah, this is the 2.0 size one. So if you want a little bigger one, and I love this, this crate, this craw one here. Oh, looks like one of the eyeballs fell off. No, oh, it did. <laughs> it's blind in one eye and it's laying here in the box. And of course, it's stuck to the bottom. There's the eyeball popped off. I'll have to glue that back on. Actually, it's pretty sticky. You might be able to just stick it back on. See if it stays. So now he's got his eye back on. See if it stays. If it doesn't, I'll glue it back on if it comes out in the box. It'll probably fall off when I fish it, and then I'll lose it. But that's it for the Mega Bass uh, square bills that I have. The rest of these are like uh, flat slaps and things like that, which is a great bait. Talked about the flat slap a lot. Uh, here is the <laughs> normal size <laughs> six cents square bills, which are great. I I, I think this, the uh, I think the six cents square bill is a, is a great one. Great hooks, as we've said. Great paint jobs. This is just a few to show you. The six cents square bill is really nice. Love these, these colors, these like perch bluegill type colors. This is one of my favorite colors in all the baits they make. I forget, I forget what they call this. That chartreuse with the blue, I always do well with this, especially on that uh, X70 or 75X or whatever it is. Which I don't, I guess you could kind of say it's a square bill, but I didn't, I'm not adding that to this video. I'm kind of sticking with the these traditional square bills here. 
here's a smaller version of their square bill. I don't have a lot of those. So if you would consider this there, their 2.5, here would be their 1.5 from the six cents line. This is that one they made, the square bill they made that has like that, that rotating metal. And I never really fell in love with it. It's okay. I like their other square bills better, but I got a couple of them. Actually got, actually got one and then I had like a problem with it, like the back of it's kind of split. And so I, when I messaged them, they said, oh, no problem. They sent me another one that's been fine. So that must've just been a bad batch. But great customer service. You know, I told them, hey, this, I use this thing like once and the whole back paint job kind of split. And they said, all right, they sent me another one that's been fine. So that must've just been a bad one. But they, they responded right away and replaced it. So it was nice of them. Some other six cents square bills, a couple of more. Really cool. Great paint jobs. It's a great bait. Great bait. So that's the six cents version. This box is kind of a <laughs> kind of a hodgepodge of different companies and some some of these I bought over the years on eBay from like some custom like these are all custom ones that guys on eBay that that paint baits even before I knew Pete. when I'd see a color I liked and they were, you know, very reasonably priced. Some, just some great looking paint jobs on these. And these are all, I'll pull this out for you guys and get a good look. <laughs> That's all, those are all custom. Now they, Pete didn't do these. These are all custom painted by different guys I found on eBay over the years. Like I said, before I even knew who Pete was, but you can see everybody, there's a lot of guys out there that do nice work. And that, another nice, <laughs> I should probably pull them off, but the minute you put them back in there, they're going to stick together anyway. Getting them back in, though, is the hard part. I definitely have to reorganize it by taking them apart. And this side here, this is all... These are all just custom painted. So if you're, you know, looking for custom painting, you know, I recommend Pete to you. He can do anything you want. Or just look on eBay. There's different guys that do it. 2.5s, and here's a custom painted... get it out 1.5 somebody did for me the crawfish pattern really cool so lots of cool baits this is an old um I'll show you a couple of these i don't know if this is made anymore this is an old sabil i forget what they called it sabil two and a half inch square bill sunfish sabil came out with this a while ago and i got them and they they're part of the pure fishing uh thing that I'm a member of so I got them and tried them out they're good they work fine I don't know if they make them anymore uh, Berkeley is or pure fishing I guess has is now owned Sabil and I think if they do have it be under their own name but it's a nice bait it's a nice bait another square bill here this was the storm uh, uh, Arashi square bill that came out a few years ago I don't know if they're still making them it was a nice square bill when they first came out I figured I'd try them they're good it's a nice square bill, you guys who have them. The Storm version. Some of the, uh, of course they're all stuck together. Here's some of the, the Spro Fat John 60s, which is a square bill. You know, they're all kind of stuck together here. That's the, uh, the Little John, the Fat John 60 in a different color. I know they're all stuck together. Some of you can see upside down. It's a nice square bill. A nice finesse square bill in different sizes. Then I, I mean, I saw these when I opened this box. I don't even know who, this is just some random. I think, I think these might, some of these might be Livingston Lures, their version that somebody bought me or I got one of them. That's a Livingston Lure right there. That's their, that's a Livingston Lure square bill. These I don't, these might just, just random ones that people bought for me or. This one, somebody painted for me. I forget who. I don't know if TK painted that one. That might be one of his. Does custom painting online. These are all just different square bills that someone, and they don't, if they don't have the name on them anymore, I'm not going to remember, but they're all, not, I, I probably like that crayfish body, so I grab some, maybe at an outdoor show, but it's endless. Endless the ones you can get. And the box that the box, that, it's hard to say my favorite, but the one, if I know I'm going to throw square bills, usually is the one I throw in the box. 
and it's this guy right here. This has my Lucky Crafts. This has my old uh, Rick Lund ones. And, you know, the old... I don't have a lot of them, but... The old Lucky Craft uh, RC. This is the old Rick Lund Lucky Craft when Rick was with Lucky Craft. His square bill, which, you know, kind of, I think, really got it going. Really got the, the whole 1.5 and square bill fishing going. Or I shouldn't say going, more like kind of back into the forefront. But these are just some of those lucky craft. This is the fat. I don't know this one's got so much uh, hook rash on it. I think it says fat CB, the BDS2. So this is like a 2, not a 2.5. And that's, see how they used to have these, <laughs> the claws on the, on the, on the bill. Really cool. Fat CB BDS2. I don't know what square bills Lucky Craft still makes. I haven't bought one in a while, but they're great. The, uh, I can kind of take these out here for you, show you what I got. This is the RC2 from Lucky Strike, which was kind of Lucky Strike's version of that Lucky Craft bait, and they're great. I, I think they're great. I love them. But the one that I probably like the most, when I really think about it, the Excalibur 200 was really one that I loved. And I have a lot of them. I loved them. This is their uh, 200 series, which is like your 2.5. This is the 100 series, I believe. Great colors. I forget what happened to Excalibur. I don't... Somebody bought them or if they became something else, I forget. But there's that 200 Excalibur there. I, I just love these. And I know I have a mix of the Excaliburs and the Rick Cluns. That's an RC. That's a, a Rick Clun RC. That's like a 1.5. Has a little RC on these. are Lucky Strike. What Lucky Strike is still making as far as square bills, I don't know. As I said, I've got a lot of square bills. So I haven't, I haven't bought any in a while. I've got enough square bills to last me the rest of my life. Let me show you what I got here. That's another, that's like a 1.5, an RC, Lucky Strike. This might be some more. Oh boy, these hooks are sharp. Now here is the Excalibur, here's the 300. So the three, here's the 200. There's the 300, so the little 300 is a little bigger, a little bulkier. So if you want to look at it as the 100 being the 1.5, the 200 being the 2.5, and the 300 being the 3.5, you can look at it like that. But there's their bigger one, which I have a few of. But most of the ones I have, I think, are the 200 and the 100. But I always loved the colors, the way they ran. Caught a lot of fish on them over the years. So usually if I know... That's an RC2. I always love that color. I forget what they call it, but... <clears throat> Here's that Excalibur 300 again in a different, like a crawfish pattern. That 300. Let's see what we got in this one. I'll go through this whole box. There's an RC crayfish pattern. Just great colors, nice hooks. As I said, when I do, um, there's that, that Excalibur 200 series. I know the Excalibur, you're not, I mean, unless you found it on eBay or somebody was selling them, because they don't make them anymore. But the Rick Cluns, they may still make these. If I can find links to them, ones that are still available, I will in the description. Oh, excuse me, I need a drink. Mm. Ah, thanks. There we go. So this is probably my favorite square bill box. I, I, I know if I want to, if I'm going to a lake that's got a lot of shallow cover... Maybe some wood that I want to... I'm always throwing this one in there. Usually with Pete's... Uh, Pete's custom colors. Ouch. Gosh, they're sharp. But just so many great... Great paint jobs. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> might be the same. These two might be the same right here. So I... I 
this might be still something you can get. May still be good. These RC2s. I'm sure Lucky Craft still has their square bills. The Stray Kings are still available. The Six Cents are still available. S Crank from Mega Bass. Still get those for sure. So I would say of everything I'm showing you guys, there's more you can get than can't. It's not like discontinued. <clears throat> I always like this guy, this perchy color. There's a big version. It's a great color too. They're all they're all good. They're all good. These are all Rick Clunes here. <clears throat> so that old Excalibur, the Rick Clun 2.5, those Lucky Lucky Craft ones, they're all some of the ones that I do would probably consider my favorites. I mean the two point the KVD 2.5 is one of my favorites too. They're all they all catch fish. They all catch fish. You know, the ones I've used the most, you know, in the last couple of years are the ones Pete has painted for me. So, you know, you get a new, uh, get a nice paint job from, from a custom paint guy. It's really cool to go out and throw it and catch some fish. But that is the last box of square bills. Now, if you're throwing a square bill crankbait, as I said before, the difference with this than your deep cranking is I'm not, I'm not taking this on the outside of weed lines. I'm... I'm not looking to bang this on, you know, rock in, say, 10 to 20 feet. This is the square bill crankbait is not going to dive that deep. I'm looking when I'm throwing a square bill, I'm throwing it to the bank and reeling it back. And usually, I I pull it out when I know I've got a lot of, you know, boulders up there. I've got some wood because, as I said earlier, this is a this is a great uh, bait for just deflecting off like if you've got a tree up there you'll this will be coming by and this will just and it deflects and it, and it makes the bait dart to one side or the other and that's what really gets your bites on these <clears throat> i have done better lately with these around rock um, than i have around wood but that doesn't mean if i see if i see a lay down and a big tree in the water and there's branches sticking out i'll throw i'll run this right over the top of it because a lot of times occasionally it'll get stuck but at least if in a deep diver, if it gets stuck 10 feet down, you're not going to find it. Here, if this gets stuck and you're throwing it on a shoreline tree, you can see it and probably, you know, troll up to it and get it and save it. But they come uh, come over the cover very well. It's not to say it's 100% weedless, you know, if it's real heavy stuff. And these aren't good around weeds, obviously. But if you've got, uh, let's say, hmm six feet of water and the weeds are only coming up to about two or three feet these are nice to swim across the top of those weeds you know to get a bite but i'm usually looking at shallow rock points and lay downs to throw these by because i want that bill <clears throat> to deflect off of it here i'm looking for the deflection advantages you get from that bill that square bill and that's what makes it such an effective bait i throw these around docks if I see pontoon boats, swim it right alongside that pontoon boat. Fish that suspend under those pontoons will come out and whack it. But to me, this is a great way to cover shallow flats, even shallow weedy flats. I'll, I'll usually a lot of times switch between this and a rattle trap and see what they want more. Do they want a lipless or do they want a square bill? See what they want more. Sometimes this, this, you know, these are, you know, I have some that are like one knockers. <clears throat> I think these are, let's see, I can't remember. Now, these are silent too. I do have some that are like one knockers that you'll hear like that, you know, they, they have a rattle in them. Most of these are silent. Yeah, most of the square bills I have are silent. Yeah, there's no rattles in them. So you can obviously get them with rattles. But most of them are silent, so you're just getting that vibration, that deflection and that vibration to get bites with these. And there's a lot of, as you can see, a lot of different options. So I can't think of anything else to tell you about throwing a square bill. Um, if you've got, you know, the lakes by you are shallow, it's a great bait for that. It's a great bait for, as I said, shallow flats, shallow weedy flats, um, rock. If you've got a lot of chunk rock around, it's great to swim that around through that rock around wood wood cover if you've got a lake with a lot of wood great way now if you're when i'm throwing these on open water on flats and things just shallow rock 
That 10 pound line is fine. If I know I'm gonna go to like, when I used to take these to Merrill Creek, for you guys who live in New Jersey, Merrill Creek has got a lot of standing timber. If I was throwing these back in that standing timber, I would have the heavier line, that 16, maybe 20 pound fluoro. Because even though you're not getting down deep, when you've got a lot of trees, and and if you've got a lake that has a lot of lot of standing timber, and then that means you're also gonna have a lot that have fallen over. So you're gonna have a lot of trees that are just laying crisscross and all over the place. You want that heavier line when you're when you're banging it around there. Plus, if you get a bite in that, you want to be able to horse those fish out of there. So that is the only time I would use heavy line. When I'm when I'm just fishing the bank and fishing shallow rock and and you know shallow stuff I can see, that 10 pound line is fine. That 10 pound line is fine. So it all depends on the cover you're fishing if you want to up that line uh, to something stronger. But that's it, guys. It's it, the, the, the square bill crankbait is a great way to catch fish. It's a great way to cover shallow water. And I love throwing them. I love throwing square bills. Throughout the summer, I'll always have a square bill or a trap on. Some kind of a lipless and some kind of a of a of a square bill to cover water. And even you know even when we've gone up, uh, got a little rust on there. There must be a hook in here. It needs a little. A little rust in the back. Must be a hook there. Needs a little, little clean off. But um, even when we've gone up to um, Champlain in May, and I've caught a lot of fish on rattle traps and other baits, I, I'll throw the square bill and catch some fish too. Same places I'll throw that trap. Some same places I'll throw that jerk bait. So there's a lot of shallow flats up there to fish, and this square bill in the springtime can be deadly. You get those fish starting to move up. And don't sleep on that 1.5. I mean, I, I'm the kind of guy who likes big baits, but that 1.5 sometimes is, is better. Sometimes that small profile, that 1.5 is the way to go. If you find you're throwing the 2.5 a lot, and or even that like a 300 series, like a big one like this, or some of those bigger other bigger ones I showed you, and you're not getting any bites, switch to that 1.5, and that might, it might be the difference. The bait thereafter may be smaller and may be that size. So don't sleep on that one that 1.5 size it can be the way to go you know i tend to lean towards bigger baits just the way i like to fish but that 1.5 if i find i'm not getting bites on that 2.5 or my my lipless baits i might uh, switch to that 1.5 and that might be all the difference in the world uh but that's it guys uh, i think i covered everything i wanted to cover find the rod you like a medium i prefer medium rod <clears throat> medium to medium heavy seven foot length at least whatever kind of a, a casting re uh, reel you like uh, get yourself some good fluoro at least 10 pound if you're going to fish real real heavy cover you know bulk it up to that 16 to 20 and uh, have fun because <laughs> it's a lot of fun and as you can see there's a lot of choices on the uh, on colors and uh, and brands but uh, as i said the the excaliburs you ain't gonna find them probably unless there's a a collector that's selling them or somebody who's just selling their you know maybe on ebay but you can definitely get a lot of these you can still get and the ones that you can find still i'll put a, a link there you can check them out online all right so i hope you guys liked it um any questions uh let me know if there's a particular brand you saw and you want me to go through just that brand i can do it um but i appreciate the comments because that really you know that gave me the the idea to do this video after i did the cranking video and somebody, one of my subscribers asked me about a Senko video. I was like, oh my God, Senkos. I don't really throw Senkos very much anymore. <laughs> but sure, for somebody who doesn't throw Senkos, I had a lot over there. So I could definitely do a video on that. But uh, I, I love the uh, ideas on videos. That really helps. That really helps a lot. Especially now, I'm sitting down here. It's snowing out. I might as well, might as well do some videos, okay? So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, support has been great. As you saw in that other video, I know I mentioned this the other day, uh, surpassing 1,500 subscribers is just awesome. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and sharing and liking the videos and the comments and all that good stuff. So uh, please like and share this video. Uh, if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please subscribe, okay? So I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.